Guanwei was exclusively used by the, the Salon Song court and has an exceptional provenance having been, uh, having been passed through the hands of Edward T. Chow and T. Y. Chow. This exact sort of mellow shape that exists in the Palace Museum Taipei. The present Guan Washer here that we're presenting this time, um, in my view, belongs to the earliest type of Guan. That you know, the glaze being that that sort of having this watery bluish green color. The crackle here you'll see has not been stained, uh, unlike quite a lot of later Guan. Um, it it looks very close to what you expect Rue to look like, and I think in that sense it is probably the earliest type of Guan produced at the Southern Song Court. Uh, in fact, there is a possibility that um, the potters who made this were the potters who made Rue, because the, the, south, the northern Song court, when they fled south um, to, to Hangzhou, took with them all their staff, all their craftsmen, and that may have included potters as well. Guanware was exclusively used by the, the Salon Song court, and was produced at the time when the Southern Song Court was desperate to assert its legitimacy, um, having been beaten down south by, by, the, by the Jin barbarians. So it was very important, and part of establishing its legitimacy was surrounding themselves with the same props that they had in the north. There have been a few, maybe two or three other ones, different sizes from small to a bit larger. Uh, but this one, in, in terms of look, is very, very different. There's only one um, other washer of this type, this exact sort of mellow shape that exists in the, um, in the Palace Museum Taipei. And you can see on the base how it's fired on spurs, which is something you typically expect of uh, Ru and Guan. This is very delicately potted. It would have been quite, quite difficult to make, but you know, uh, at the time, I suppose, there were quite a few made. Um, very few have survived to this day. And this one has an exceptional provenance, having been, uh, having been passed through the hands of Edward T. Chow and T. Y. Chow. It was sold last time in 1986, uh, and has been preserved in the same collection ever since. We have for the pieces 80 million Hong Kong. Guan is only second to Ru. And the best route to, you know, these days fetches about 300 million Hong Kong dollars. At 80 million Hong Kong dollars, I think there's a bit of room there. <laughs>